The Chanel Mano bag, or more commonly known as the Chanel Kelly bag, is coming back for the Chanel Pre-Spring Summer 2024 collection. And it's very likely that this is going to become one of the seasonal classic bags. And what I mean by that is that it's not going to be around every single season, like the Chanel classic bags, for example, the Chanel 255, the classic flap, Chanel 19, all of those bags are considered classics and we see them every single season. But then we have the seasonal classic styles, for example, the Chanel Trendy CC, the Chanel Coco handle, the Chanel mini rectangular flap with a top handle. Those are the bags that we see only every other season. And this seems to be the potential case with the Chanel Kelly bag as well. So I thought that since it's coming back, I'm going to compare it with another very similar bag the mini lady dr okay so let's start with the similarities and i think that the first one is very obvious and it's the fact that they are both small top handle bags and they both have classic motifs of each house so for example with the chanel bag we have the ultimate chanel classic which is chanel quilting and even if it didn't have a logo this bag would still scream chanel and the same goes for the mini lady dior it has the classic dior canache motive so even if it didn't have the charms over here that say dior i think that the bag would still be very obviously dior both of these bags are big enough to take you from day to night and they also come with a chain, which means that you can wear them in three ways, as a top handle bag, as a shoulder bag, and also as a crossbody bag. So if we're speaking very generically, both of these bags are nearly identical from the perspective of use, because both of these can be styled with the same outfits and for the same occasions. So I'm very happy that I have them in two different colors, because at least now they can be dressed for different occasions. Okay, but now let's talk about the main difference is because this is a handbag lovers youtube channel so we are going to get picky okay and let's start with the price and the current and i'm highlighting the word current because i know that there's a chanel price increase coming up at the end of the month so beware but right now the price of this bag is 4300 euros on the other hand the mini lady dior again currently because Dior is famous for their February price increases so the current price of the mini lady Dior is 4700 if the price is going to change I'm going to update it in the comments as soon as it's available now I know that some of you may also be interested in the resale value and in this case Miss Kelly wins just because it is a much harder bag to get so the resale value is much higher on this bag than it is on the mini lady Dior because the mini lady Dior unless it's a seasonal color it is relatively easy to get from the store another very technical thing to mention are the dimensions of each bag and i'm going to pop the exact dimensions on the screen so that you can pause the video and check them out but generally speaking as you can see the mini lady dior is just slightly bigger than the mini kelly i will also put the measurements for the chain and speaking of the chain the chanel kelly chain is not detachable however it can be tucked inside of the bag and that's where the lady dior bag in my opinion wins because the chain on the mini lady dior can in fact be removed completely so that's something that i actually really like about this bag and another thing that i like on the mini lady dior is that the handles are movable unlike on the chanel mini kelly because in this case every time you open it it just feels a little bit like stretching them out i don't know i can't really explain it they are not very rigid they are actually quite soft as you can see so every time i open the bag i obviously use my hands like this and i move the handles and it gets me a little bit scared that i'm damaging them and that they're eventually going to start looking something like this you know i don't want to even do that on camera once again because i don't want to damage them but yeah generally they are just standing upwards unlike the 
mini LADDR ones, which can be moved so that you can access the bag. And another thing that I like on the mini Lady Dior is that it has bag feet. The mini Kelly doesn't. So if you're going to be putting it, I don't know, on any surface whatsoever, the mini Kelly is most likely going to get scratched, but the mini Lady Dior is protected. Now, if we talk about the weight of both of these bags, the mini Lady Dior is definitely heavier. I don't know by how much. I don't know if you'd want me to measure both of them, if that's something that you would be interested in, but this is a heavier bag just because I think that there is more leather, more hardware, but at the same time, it also feels more durable. Okay, and now let's see what fits in both of these bags and if they can both fit the same amount of things. Okay, so let's start with the mini lady dior and it's currently fully packed this is everything that i can fit in the bag if i don't put a phone inside of it up to the point where it doesn't compromise the function of the flap closure technically i could have put in more things but then the flap wouldn't be able to close properly or i would risk damaging it so here we have a lipstick a hand sanitizer a hand cream a wallet, a key holder, a compact, airpods, a mini size perfume and a full pack of tissues. All of this fits inside of the bag comfortably and like I said before without compromising the flap. To me it's actually more than enough, I could live without the full pack of tissues, I could also remove the compact and I could replace the wallet with a card holder. Now the Chanel Nano bag holds the exact same amount as the mini Lady Dior, everything fits in perfectly if not even better than in the mini lady dior even though it's technically a smaller bag and i think it's because the flap is on the outside of the bag rather than being on the inside of the bag like it is with the mini lady dior so as you can see everything fits and it closes perfectly you cannot see any of the content from the outside of the bag which is perfect so let's replace the wallet with a card holder and instead of the tissues and the compact let's put my phone let's also replace the lipstick with a bigger size lip balm now the phone slides in easily and it doesn't damage the structure of the bag. It's just the case, but I promise you that everything fits with the phone inside of the case as well. Then we have the rest of the essentials. This is everything that I would normally need. I would also add a few tissues in the zip compartment just because of my allergies. Once again, it's very easy to close the bag. The flap is not compromised and the bag is very unlikely to get damaged. And now let's try to put everything in the Chanel Nano bag. With this bag, the phone goes inside a little bit easier. There go the essentials, everything fits very easily. I also like that besides the zip pocket, there's another pocket on the other side of the bag. Everything closes, however, I don't like that you can see the lip balm from the outside, so I would probably replace it with like a smaller lip balm or lipstick. Now you cannot see anything from the outside and it also doesn't feel like it's too full. For the people that are like me and may need to go from day to night with the same bag, you may be carrying sunglasses, which you most likely won't need in the nighttime. So I can confirm that they fit in the bag, you can still have the very bare essentials, put the sunglasses on top and both bags will still close easily however now fitting a phone would be a little bit tricky so you kind of have to make a choice i probably wouldn't want to risk damaging the sunglasses with that many things inside but generally speaking they do fit okay guys so now that we've covered all the technicalities i will give you my personal recommendation and i think that some of you may be surprised because as much as i love the chanel mini kelly I do recommend the Mini Lady Dior much more just because it is a better made bag for the price. And like I said in the beginning, prices of both of these bags are very similar. But that's of course me assuming that you can get both of these bags for a retail price. Because if we're looking at purchasing the Chanel Kelly, it's very likely that you may have to go through a personal shopper who's most likely, well not most likely, who is going to charge you a fee for finding this bag, or you may have to buy it pre love, which also means that you would most likely pay more than the recommended retail price. However, the Mini Lady Dior on the pre loved market, you can definitely find below the recommended retail price. So even from that perspective, once again, technically, the Lady Dior is a better choice. However, 
if you prefer the aesthetic of the mini Chanel Kelly. If you're a Chanel girl through and through, nothing I say is going to make a difference. I won't be able to change your mind and that's completely fine. I totally get it. Trust me, I have been there and honestly, I cannot imagine my handbag collection without both of these bags in it. But again, personally, if we look at the craftsmanship of the mini Lady Dior, it is an absolute masterpiece and it feels so much more expensive than the Chanel Mini Kelly. But since I'm a sucker for Chanel, I still love it. And as a matter of fact, this was one of my most used bags last year. And if you go to my Instagram, for example, this is basically the only bag you're going to see now. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Is it worth the money? No, not really. This is a bag that really truly feels expensive but i honestly love both of these bags and i think that they are both so beautiful so now i'm starting to think why did i make this video in the first place because now i feel like i'm just pushing both of these bags onto you so i think it's time to stop thank you so much for watching if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section below and as always if you enjoy this type of content don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that i can see you in my next video stay safe everyone bye